I totally just ate a tomato, spinach, and watercress sandwich, and I had green stuff in my teeth, and I forgot to check. I started to record. It would not have been pretty. Being a YouTube mom is hard, not just because your life is out there in, like, social media land for the whole world to see, but because it requires a level of time management that I never knew existed. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back to my channel. Being a YouTube mom is hard. And when I did my q and I got a question from Our Life on a Budget, Angie. She is amazing and I'm sure everybody knows her. But just in case you don't, I'll link her channel down in the, the description box down below. But she asked me how I balanced my time and was life difficult and did I find it hard? And so today I thought I would walk you through kind of a day in the life of me as a full-time working mom and a YouTube mom and just a mom in general. So you can see what effort goes into having a YouTube channel in case you're considering one or you just want to know. So my day normally starts at 4 a.m. My alarm starts going off and some days I wake up and some days I stay in bed and hit the snooze for like an hour not even joking <laughs> it does happen that I am I will not get out of bed until 5 but on most days I'm out of bed between 4 15 and 4 30 a.m. I then get showered and dressed and ready to go to work brush my teeth put on makeup do my hair get my work clothes on and then I set down at the computer at the computer, I edit my videos for anywhere from an hour to two hours, depending on the morning and what time I need to leave for work. During the summer, I get a little more editing time in the morning, less time in the evenings and on the weekends, but more time in the morning. During the school year, we are always out the door by 7.15 at the latest, so I generally have about an hour to edit in the morning. And then I go downstairs, I pull all my lunch stuff together. Mauricio puts Melina's lunch together. I do meal prep and lunch prep on Sundays, so getting lunches ready in the mornings is fairly easy. It's just a go and a grab out of the refrigerator. And then at 7.15, we are off to work and school. We pack Melina in the car and we drop her off at Before Care and then Mauricio and I head off to work together. We generally arrive at work around 7.45 and work until 4.30 or five o'clock. And then at that time we come home and on the way home, we will pick up Melina. So generally about 5.30, we pick up Melina from school. Then we come home. Because I meal prep on Sundays, generally my father is able to pop whatever we're going to have for dinner in the oven. And all I have to do is finish it. I mean, when I say meal prep, I prep down to everything like side dishes, bread, whatever we're serving. So it's very, very easy for me to get dinner ready and on the table. So I get home from work around 5.30 in the evening, and that gives me about an hour to get everything finalized for dinner. And then we eat, and dinner is done around 7. Melina starts getting ready for bed around 7.30, and she has gotten, you know, she's gotten to the point where she can get herself ready. And then I go in and I read her a story or tell her a story. And I generally will lay down with her. By the time she's in bed, like in bed, in bed, it's somewhere between 8 and 8.30. I've been known to fall asleep with her on more than one occasion. Kind of like almost every night. <laughs> So Mauricio knows to come in around 8.45 and make sure Melina is asleep and then get me up out of her bed. So then I go in and I will either clean up or Mauricio cleans the kitchen after dinner. So I don't have to do that. But I'll, I'll clean the room or maybe I'll work on thumbnails. I try really hard not to work on videos and YouTube in the evening. I save that for mornings and weekends only, but 
sometimes I do that. And then around between 10 and 11, I get in bed. If we get in bed at like 9, we might watch an episode of something on Netflix or, you know, I'll just go straight to bed. I always sleep, go to sleep with the TV on. I have one of those brains that I cannot shut down. And it's constantly going and going and going. So I need the noise from a TV show that I know well, like Friends or something like that, that will shut my brain off for me. I just listen to it and I can mentally play the image in my head and I fall right asleep. And then the TV is on a timer and shuts off after an hour or so. And then on the weekends, I do whatever's left for videos coming up, like thumbnails or tags and titles and descriptions, whatever needs to be done. That's what I finish up. During the school year, frequently I have to edit a third video because I only have time to edit one, sometimes one and a half videos during the week. During the summer, it's a lot easier to get my videos edited in the morning because I get two hours every morning to edit videos. And so I can generally get two videos edited during the week and only have a third one on the weekends. But during the summer, I don't, I, I don't generally do that third one because there's so much going on on the weekends during the summer that I just don't have time to do it all. I do feel like I'm missing out on Melina's life a little bit being a YouTube mom, but I am committed to showing you all that there are different ways to get out of debt and that it can be done even when there is a huge pile of debt to be done. It's hard and it, sometimes... I have considered giving it up. I will admit I, I do consider it because I am missing so much. And some weekends I just like to be able to sleep in and I don't generally do that. So, yeah, it, it's hard. And um, But I really do love it and I am committed to it. So, I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.